Hello, I'm Brian Falchuk, Managing Partner of Insurance Evolution Partners, and I wanted to share something with you. I recently came across an infographic from Insurance Nexus, the people who put on the Connected Claims Conference, the Insurance AI and Innovative Tech Conference, Connected Insurance, and others, and it blew my mind. And there's a couple of reasons for that. So the graphic came out of the research they've been doing, where they survey leaders at many insurance companies or 300 respondents to the survey and it was very recent so since the world has changed due to COVID-19 and what they asked about was people's investment plans or their company's investment plans in different emerging or new technologies advanced technologies things like AI machine learning uh, predictive analytics blockchain IOT you know all the buzzwords that we hear about now this isn't new research in the sense that they've been doing it for a while and it's not surprising to see that a lot of people say, hey, you know, we are going to invest in this, or perhaps we're already investing in it, but the investments are somewhere in the two to five year horizon. That's pretty common, right? So they're thinking about it. They might play around a little bit, but the real investment is still yet to come because they don't see the technologies being clear or the impacts being clear just yet. This year's different. So over two thirds of respondents noted in the near term, so within the next two years, or perhaps already, they are or will be investing in AI and predictive analytics. That's very different. So that's the right now. Now, predictive analytics is something that's been with us in the industry for a very long time. It's sort of the root of what actuarial sciences are, but it's, it's the next generation, right? It's some of these new predictive tools that are coming out. And of course, those could be used for things like fraud detection and claims, or even predicting fraud when you're underwriting someone to see, you know, what's the propensity that they have to engage in fraudulent activity or, you know, file a fraudulent claim. So that's predictive analytics and AI, artificial intelligence. If you move on to ML, which is in many respects, like the next evolution past AI. So that's where the machine is learning what to do. It's more than just intelligent, it's getting more intelligent over time. That's tougher to implement. That's more, uh, it's, it's difficult to think of the different use cases for it or how you could actually bring it into your business. It's more complicated because it's more advanced and the tools are newer. And yet half of respondents already have it on their near term investment roadmap or they're investing in it today. That also blew my mind. ML is often sort of thought as a five-year-out thing, or it's something we're talking about a lot, but we don't really know what to do with it yet. So it's more of a buzzword. It's something we're thinking about, but we're not taking action yet. So that was really interesting. And lastly, the other major difference was cost. So when you think about what the investments are, think about tech investments in our space. They're big and they're expensive, right? Core systems maybe hundreds of millions of dollars, if not tens of millions, depending on the size of the carrier, but they're major projects, not just the software, but the change that goes along with it. These investments are actually proving to be different. And this is something I talk about in my upcoming book that the investments don't have to break the bank or the carrier. They can be actually a lot more feasible, tangible, smaller pieces of your IT or innovation or R&D budget than you may have been thinking of. Even though these are, you know, emerging technologies that seem really complex, the tools behind them are far more flexible than what we're used to. So the number of investments that were over $5 million was actually only 14% of respondents claimed that that's what they had budgeted. So 86% of respondents said that you know, they're investing. And by the way, it's actually not that much of their innovation or IT or R&D budget or wherever those costs sit. That also was very interesting to me because that's something I've been talking about for a while. And again, I bring up that case exactly in the future of insurance, my book that comes out next month. Now, this is all very interesting, but that's not really good enough. All right, we need to think about how we even do it. So just hearing that people are doing it, that doesn't tell us what to do. That doesn't give us the insights we need to actually make progress here. That's where Insurance Nexus comes in with the Insurance AI and Innovative Tech Conference 2020. It's going to be held in Chicago in May. They've moved it to a virtual conference, and this is the big change 
they've made it free. So I haven't seen this across the board where, you know, you had a conference going on in the industry and they move it to virtual and make it completely free. That's quite different here. That's happened. So this means not only do you see, you know what, many other carriers, more than half, more than two thirds are doing something in the here and now. Innovation is still happening despite the different way we're all having to work right now. How do I do it? Well, by attending this conference, you will get those insights. You'll hear from the people who are actually doing it. You'll find out what they're doing, how they're doing it, how they're able to move ahead, even though they're facing, you know, all these complications we're facing right now on top of what we've always faced in the industry. You know, whether that's uh, difficulties from regulation, whether that's past IT projects that are, you know, leaving us feeling scarred from the process, or perhaps we're still going through, or perhaps they haven't delivered what we needed them to, to facilitate some of these changes. Uh, maybe it's politics inside the carrier. Maybe it's a number of things, but we do face constraints in this industry. And now we're facing a whole other set of constraints that we didn't foretell, yet innovation is still happening. So this is a fantastic chance for no cost to find out what people are doing and how they're doing it. The Insurance AI and Innovative Tech Summit, virtual, no cost, totally free, register today. I've set up an easy link for you to get to it. If you go to insurance-evolution.com slash AI Summit, it'll take you through to the registration page. You can register for free. It's going on May 27th and May 28th. Now there's a series of pre-recorded videos that you can get on demand or as they release them through the schedule, but also this event will have a number of live video interactions, you know, through the web so people can ask questions, interact, and find out what they really want to find out of leaders in the industry. I mean, genuine leaders, the panelists, the speakers are people we would all turn to for that guidance to hear what they're doing from major carriers, the Hartford Travelers, CNA, um, and, and all sorts of other carriers in the insurance, the reinsurance space, life insurers as well. Church Mutual will be there. HIPAA will be there. An innovative homeowners insurer, Swiss Re, the list goes on. I'm very excited. I'm actually getting to chair this event, which is great for me because I get to soak up even more information and connect with all these speakers in a very deep way. But you can too because of the way they're scheduling these open Q&A panels. So you can engage with thought leaders and leaders from across the industry to find out what they're doing with this new innovative tech that we all have at our disposal. And frankly, carriers are starting to use, so you need to as well. I hope you join insurance-evolution.com slash AI Summit. We'll take you right through to the registration page. Totally free, May 27th and 28th online, amazing content from people who've had incredible careers at different carriers who've seen what we need to see and learn from to find out more. I'll see you all at the summit. Thanks so much.